Hello, and welcome to the August CPR Coding Break. I'm Patricia Fordham, one of the quality consultants for Registry Partners Incorporated. During this month's coding break, I will be speaking on thyroid malignancy surgery treatment and surgical codes. The objective for today's presentation is to review the more common thyroid surgeries, review thyroid surgical codes, and look at a case presentation. Surgery is the main treatment of thyroid cancer. If thyroid cancer is diagnosed by an FNA biopsy, surgery to remove the tumor and all or part of the remaining thyroid gland is usually recommended. A lobectomy is an operation that removes the lobe containing the cancer, usually along with the isthmus. The isthmus is a small piece of gland that acts as a bridge between the left and right lobes. A lobectomy is sometimes used to treat differentiated papillary or follicular thyroid cancers that are small and show no signs of spread beyond the thyroid gland. A lobectomy is sometimes used to diagnose thyroid cancer if an FNA biopsy result doesn't provide a clear di diagnosis. An advantage of this surgery is that some patients might not need to take thyroid hormone pills afterward because it leaves part of the uh, gland behind. Additional surgical procedures include a thyroidectomy. A thyroidectomy is surgery to remove the thyroid gland. Total thyroidectomy is removal of the entire gland, and near total thyroidectomy is removal of nearly all of the gland. In the image seen here, moving left to right, image one shows a view of the thyroid gland, left and right lobe and isthmus. Image two shows a total thyroidectomy has been performed. Image three shows a subtotal or partial thyroidectomy has been performed, removing the left lobe, the isthmus, and part of the right lobe. And image four shows a lobectomy has been performed. You can see that the left lobe has been removed. Store Appendix A thyroid gland site specific surgery code lists the surgical codes for thyroid malignancy. The most common surgical codes include 20, lobectomy and or ismectomy, 21, lobectomy only, 22, ismectomy only, 23, lobectomy with isthmus, and code 50, a total thyroidectomy has been performed. For additional thyroid surgical codes, refer to STORE Appendix A. STORE 2022, page 55, tells us when multiple first course procedures coded under the same item are performed for a primary, the most extensive or definitive is the last performed, and the code represents the cumulative effect of the separate procedures. If your cancer registry software allows multiple surgical procedures to be coded, then code as such. If your cancer registry software only allows one surgical procedure to be coded, but the patient underwent multiple procedures, for example, thyroid lobectomy followed by a total thyroidectomy, the surgery date of the first operative procedure would be entered. This will be the date of the first course treatment. The surgical code will be entered as 50 total thyroidectomy. The total thyroidectomy would be cumulative of the two procedures performed. Let's look at a case scenario. We have a 55 year old male with palpable thyroid nodule on the left. No palpable lymph nodes were detected. On January the 10th, 2022, the patient underwent an ultrasound of the neck, which revealed a one and a half centimeter left thyroid nodule suspicious for neoplasm. On January the 12th, 2022, a CT of the neck was performed, which again was suspicious with a nodule in the left thyroid and consistent with malignancy, possibly a papillary thyroid carcinoma. There were no enlarged lymph nodes. A CT of the abdomen and pelvis was also performed with no distant meds indicated. 
On January the 15th, 2022, ABC Radiology, an ultrasound-guided FNA of the left thyroid nodule was performed. The findings were suspicious for malignancy, papillary carcinoma. On February the 20th, 2022, at ABC Hospital, Dr. Smith took the patient to surgery and a left thyroidectomy and ismectomy was performed. The operative findings were of a two centimeter nodule extending into the left isthmus of the thyroid. There was no gross evidence of extra thyroid extension and no gross lymph nodes. Past findings were invasive papillary thyroid carcinoma with follicular variant 2.1 centimeters. There was also a second nodule found 0.5 centimeters and follicular carcinoma was a histology. There was no lymphascular invasion and no nodes were submitted at this time. The margins were closed. March the 25th, 2022, Dr. Smith took the patient back to surgery and performed a right lobectomy or completion thyroidectomy with a bilateral neck dissection. On operative procedures, there were no gross nodules uh, found. The pathology revealed no residual malignancy. Five lymph nodes removed from the right side were negative and 10 lymph nodes from the next side were also removed and negative. Now we'll look at how to enter multiple procedures for a swarm procedure depending on the software used by your cancer registry. Data for surgical procedure formerly called date of cancer directed surgery, records the earliest date on which any first course surgical procedures were performed. The patient underwent a left lobectomy with isthmus followed by a total thyroidectomy or completion lobectomy. The date of the first surgical procedure will be entered as February the 20th, 2022, and the date of the most definitive surgery will be entered as March the 25th, 2022. The surgical code will be assigned as 50 for the total thyroidectomy. The date surgical discharge will be entered as March the 25th, 2022. Date of surgical discharge should be March the 25th, 2022, as this corresponds with surgical code 50 and the date most definitive surgery field. If your cancer registry software allows multiple surgical procedures to be entered and coded, the date of the first surgical procedure would be entered as February the 20th, 2022, and surgical code entered as 23 for the left lobectomy with removal of the isthmus. The second surgical procedure date would be entered as March the 25th, 2022, and surgical code entered as 50 for the right lobectomy was the completion total thyroidectomy. I hope you found the August BTR coding break helpful in understanding and coding multiple surgical procedures of the thyroid gland. Thank you for attending and have a great day.